Hello, this is Sunshadow Tarot, and I am going to do a tarot reading on the death of Queen Elizabeth II, Her Majesty Elizabeth II, uh, known at birth as Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor, and full title, Elizabeth II, by the grace of God of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, and of her other realms and territories, Queen, Head of the Commonwealth, Defender of the Faith. This is going to be a reading on the death energy of this event, uh, which happened, was formally announced at 6.30 uh, a.m. on September 8th. We can assume that the actual event happened a little bit earlier, somewhere in the morning of September 8th, 2022. So what we are going to do is take a look at the energy around that event. And I would like to warn young tarot readers and experienced tarot readers that this is an advanced type of reading. Not that the reading itself is difficult, but dealing with the energy is more advanced. And one might not do it if I would not suggest doing this if you are a young person or an inexperienced tarot reader. All right, so let's begin. We have the Six of Swords. We have the King of Pentacles. Now we're reading on the, again, the death energy. King of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the High Priestess, the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. So obviously, you can see here, definitely, the journey has taken place. I think that is, is very self-explanatory, that uh, she is making the transition and that the new king now crosses. The card at the top here talks about a balance. This is very interesting, very interesting as I look at it talks about a balancing of powers and I'm sure that you know this is definitely in flux the moment she dies things must be balanced properly it is interesting that it is too uh, king of swords this could be in relation to her husband, Philip. Um, Page of Pentacles, certainly a new beginning. It's interesting here that Pentacles seems to appear quite a bit. Of course, they are one of the richest families in the world and most powerful families in the world. 
this does look as though there is no negative elements here, which is very good. So there is no negative energy immediately popping up. And, and that is, is very good for the family. That is very good for the nation and very good for the world. It looks as though the transition will be just fine as far as power goes. And that uh, she herself has transitioned into a higher meaning, a higher learning, a higher iteration of herself. And uh, that is a wonderful, wonderful thing. I mean, there was a double rainbow over uh, over England uh, at the time, which is very interesting. Now, what I see here, of course, we can assume that this is in reference to Charles. Now, I find this rather interesting. Is the two knights here. Now, I would sp speculate that this Knight of Pentacles being the next heir. Pentacles. 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 Pentacles definitely in reference to the lineage of the family. And the Knight of Cups may be the other son. So I would uh, assume by the looks of this that this is William and this is Harry. Now, it's interesting that Harry shows up in the more emotional position. Whereas William would show up in the more environmental position of this particular spread. Because as a matter of fact, you know, William is the heir and Harry has been wrapped up in so much emotional turmoil from the press, from his own doing, his own emotional reaction to the family and to events around the family. I find that very, very fascinating. The Nine of Pentacles. This to me represents the country itself because Elizabeth was the nation. And so she's leaving the nation. Britannia. And it seems to be very secure, very happy, in very good hands. Regardless of maybe political interruptions and certain political waves that may occur here and there, especially you know, with certain elections, new prime ministers and all that, in and of itself, the nation seems to be very secure. It's a very rich nation and it's very peaceful compared to other times in history and other places in the world. So I would say that all in all, this is a very good basic reading. And this is a very, very good transition. I'd like to see what some oracle cards may be in relation to this. But I think that is very, very fascinating that the two knights came up.
and that over here that the balance is there that that it is it is a chore it it is a task that the country must undertake is the balance between these two young men the card we have here is power very interesting surrender also interesting and intention now of course power this is this is a time of transition and this is a time where power moves surrender we all must surrender to the inevitable the inevitable of death and how we must move from our body human body into the next phase so this is also very very relevant intention whenever there is a power transition we must be very very alert and vigilant about the intention because as we have seen you know in recent times uh, certain when there are certain power transitions things can become out of order you know things can become violent uh, things can become less than what is intended so this is very interesting and very relevant to this particular reading I'd like to get some other cards I mean this looks very good looks good for the nation psychometry which says sensitivity I'm going to move these over here sensitivity we must be sensitive to many different people's feelings and many different people's politics at this time crystal ball clarity we must be very very clear that we understand law that we understand the way things should go and that we want to keep our eyes uh, not necessarily just on the past present but on the future as well crystal ball seeing the future uh, King Charles you know he's very interested in the future what the future will hold for the United Kingdom what the future will hold for the world and the book knowledge certainly um, the royal family very interested in knowledge teaching the future children seems to be a very very important uh, idea and very 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 important value uh, that they they hone in on quite a bit with their visits to schools and their charitable work all right let's take a look at something else here just like to do a little bit more on this energy now the reason that I say uh, younger tarot readers should not delve into this is because you do need a little bit of experience 
in life um, before you start dealing with death energies. It's not saying that it can never be done. Certain people are more acclimated to it. I, for one, am. And uh, in other cases, it just takes experience in life. Because, well, we got a very good reading here. You may not get such a good reading all the time. And the energies may not be so benevolent. So you really do need to make sure that you have experience and internal strength to deal with whatever comes your way. That's just my opinion. All right. Again, we are looking a little bit more into the energy. So again, this seems to be Basically, it is around wealth and power and a good transition. The queen has is, tran is making her transition. This is very interesting. The hangman. The devil. The Seven of Cups. There has been, as we all know, some scandal which has plagued the royal family of late. And it has, you know, upset the apple cart quite a bit because uh, people had certain ideas about the royal family and uh, like many families things are not perfect so I would like to see what else this may have uh, come about here this is the sorry this is not showing the eight of pentacles the five of cups The Three of Wands. Certainly, the Queen was devoted to her work. The country, of course, is in mourning. But, you know, they still have, though they feel they have lost quite a bit, they still have you know, the rest of the family, Charles, they still have William. These are two forces that certainly are of value to the country. And they are looking out on their next horizon. The Five of Wands, the Emperor, the Ace of Cups. One would assume that during transition there will be some political upheaval. Some people will have certain conflicting things to say about the new king, for sure. Uh, they will be comparing Charles to Elizabeth, certainly. And I am assuming that his style will be very new. But I believe that it will be well received. Even though he may have some very, very new ideas as to what to do. The Knight of Swords. 
the Two of Swords, and the Lovers. To me, it looks as though Charles is going to maybe make some very interesting changes. And it might happen swiftly, maybe a bit too swiftly for the country, but inevitably the United Kingdom will come around to it. So, again, all in all, this is a fairly positive reading. Uh, we do have, you know, you do have scandals to deal with. That is absolutely true. And uh, I believe they will be dealt with. And uh, it looks as though Charles is going to be able to handle this position very, very well. You know, I'm surprised. I, I actually thought I was going to see a lot more, you know, a lot more uh, scandal, a lot more instability, I would say, in this reading. But pleasantly surprised that it worked out as well as it did. And, and so I would say that if uh, you live in the United Kingdom and its territories, Commonwealth, um, that you will have a pretty stable transition. And I think that the world will see a very, very stable transition. And see Charles as a very capable king. So that looks very, very good. And I think I will end it there. And we will see what happens. So that is the uh, conclusion of this reading. If you liked it, please give me a like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more readings. Uh, these are interesting readings. Uh, like I said, death energy readings can be anything. And they, I have done them, and they do bring up often some very, very interesting things. But this looks like this transition is in incredibly capable hands, not just from Charles, but I'm sure that all of the staff and all of the government officials have been anticipating this for quite some time because of her age. And there has been such careful planning that this will work out very, very well. You know, I wish my condolences to the people of the United Kingdom and to the royal family. And that is the conclusion for today. Thank you very much for listening. Like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon.